Hmm, just spent 15 minutes looking for that rod. Couldn't remember what I did with it. Left it right here in this pile of Kawasaki engine. <laughs> All right, so there's the uh, culprit, the bent rod in question. It looks like it's got two bends in it by the looks of it. Looks like it's got a bend in that direction and a slight bend in this direction. So let's rig something up in the press and see what we can do. Well, for starters, it's still stuck in this last control arm, so I'm going to just use the vise here. And what I'm going to do is I open the jaws of the vise so that I can use it to uh, stop the uh, arm from moving, and then I'm going to tap it with a chisel and pop it right up. Well, I could have used a third hand there, but anyways, all right, so that control arm... Uh, it looks a little bent too. I'll have to check and make sure that's not by design. I'm not going to try and bend it back. See how that's bent that way. I'm not going to try and bend it back right this moment because it might snap. And that's one of the few I have that's not broken. So now let's see what we can do about this pin. All right, let's try this setup. I've got my blocks here on their sides with the small V notches up at the top there. And what I've done is I'm getting this lined up so that what looks to me like the high point right here, I want to have that centered right under the ram. So I need to move this over just a little bit more. Okay, I now believe I have that centered right over the high spot. And now I'm going to rotate it in the cradle. And I want that at the high point so that's where I want to try and press now as this straightens out theoretically it's going to have a tendency to want to push exert pressure on the ends here and this one isn't really vertical so I'm going to hold this one a little more vertical before I start putting really heavy pressure on okay so now I've got enough pressure on there so that I can uh, see that this is staying more vertical and now I'm going to start goosing it and see what happens it looks like it's straightening out okay Now it looks like that I've straightened it out some more. I can now see that my bend point looks more like it's here. So I'm going to relieve a little bit of pressure and reposition the ram directly over this point. Okay, that's looking better already. Um, I've actually got to push it a little past where I think it's perfectly straight because I noticed that there's a certain amount of spring to this steel and when I ease up on the pressure it actually see it just pop back up you can see it's still it's still uh, bent so I've got to actually compensate for that now I'm looking at my high point looks like it's back in the middle again so I think I want to reposition again all right that's a little bit past straight, so now hopefully when I back off, maybe it'll stay and come back to about where I want it to be. No, not quite. I think what I want to do now is I'll take it off and get it on a straight edge, flat surface. I've got my saw table handy, so I'm going to use that. My band saw table is wide enough. That's going to give me a much better look at what's going on here. Now with that, with that on the table, I can see, I can see my high point is here. And on top of it, my finger is, so I'm going to set it to press and push right there. 
Now I've moved my supports closer together because I want to concentrate on straightening this spot right here. And so now I've got my high spot. There we go, right underneath the press and we'll push it again. And again, we want to push it a little bit past straight in the other direction so that when it springs back, if it so wants to, it should be close to straight. Yeah, that don't look bad. Let's go try that on my straight edge. How's that look? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. You can see it's a lot straighter than it was, but we still got... I mean, if we were measuring this in thousands, it would be way out. But I just want to get it straight enough so the rods don't, so the uh, control levers don't bind on the rod. And there's going to be a point where I just can't bend anymore without causing more damage. You know, reach, a, reach a point of diminishing returns where the more bends I make just kind of take away from what I've already done positively. So, I like this as my new high spot. Push it again. Okay, so now, yes, it's the Buzz, buzz Lightyear flashlight. Uh, now I'm going to put a light behind it just to better illustrate on the video how much it's still out and I'm going to quit here because that's uh, straight across right there and then as I rotated it, it you can see it's got light passing in a couple of areas there. So it's no longer just got like one high spot. It's got some waviness to it. You know, it looks like there might be one more high spot here I could tackle, but I don't want to. I don't want to push my luck. I think it's straight enough now that it's actually going to work. So let's see if we can't clean up the ends and slide one of the control levers on it and see if it binds. What I mean by clean up the ends is uh, there's some damage on the ends here where I was. Uh, being very mean to this thing and abusive in the process of trying to get it out when it was bent and stuck in there. So the bench grinder will do that. All right, I just finished, uh, I grinded it some on this side and then I cleaned it up with the wire wheel. You can see where it's kind of galled up, but it's a lot better. And I, what I did is I put a bevel or a chamfer on the edge there. So that's gonna help in getting it started. And then uh, I'm just going to do a quick check, and if that checks out, then I'll clean up this rod because there's a lot of old grease on there and some, looks like maybe some surface rust in that. And uh, let's see how that works out. This end's where the grease fitting was I'm going to have to replace. This end I thought was blocked, but now that I look at it, that might have had a fitting in it that broke off. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm going to have to dig in there and see what that does. Oh, uh, in case anybody's wondering, I always use a full face shield when I'm using this bench grinder. Um, you know, I certainly don't want a spark getting in my eye, but uh, more importantly, uh, sometimes one of these little wires on the wire wheel will go flying from centrifugal force, and you don't want to lose your eyesight. So in case anybody was wondering, I do take some safety precautions when using this old thing. Okay, so it goes about halfway on and then binds up. Uh, I'm just temporarily put the camera down here and show you that it goes it goes on nice and easy there, turns really easily there, and gets up to about there, and then it binds. Um, looks like it's binding right where that little hole is right there. The grease is supposed to come out of. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and clean this up. First I'm going to degrease it and then I'm going to wire wheel it. Alright, here's how it looks after I got the grease off of it. And now I'm going to wire wheel it. Well, I actually just set up the video cam camera to uh, 
watch me do this whole process and realize I don't think I hit the record button. And I notice my static problem is coming back. So I'll try and talk real loud. Anyways, uh, I just wire wheeled this whole thing and cleaned it up. The friction from wire wheeling it actually heats it up and makes the uh, old grease start to liquefy and come out those little holes there. So uh, I'm going to have to get all that old grease out of there. I figure I'll put a new fitting on the end here and pump it out. Now, no matter which end I put it on, it binds really bad right there in the middle. So I must still have a good sized kink right there in the middle. I got to see if I can pound out or press out. Boy, am I glad I did that. I uh, just went and grabbed one of the other. This is one of the broken handles, uh, levers, and I just went and grabbed that because I wanted to, I was looking at the end of that one I was just trying on there, and it looked a little deformed, so, you can see this in the camera, but check this out, it goes right through, no problem, so, I'll check the other ones, but I think my problem is actually this handle, right there, you can see it's actually deformed. And you can see the uh, hammer marks right there. So when I was pounding on this, trying to get this off, I deformed it. I done deformed it. So you can actually see on that one, it's really bad. There's a flat spot right there. So uh, right, right that there is a flat spot. I gotta get that round again. Oh dear. All right, so I just did a quick check. These three broken ones all slide on no problem. This one that's not broken slides on no problem. This is my problem child, and I'm missing one. Hmm. Oh, there's one still on the machine. It's still attached to the linkage, that's right. And then I've got the three handles for these are out in the trailer. I put those aside way back when, when I brought the tractor home uh, in the hopes that they wouldn't get lost. So, all right, looking good.